The following broadcast is a presentation of CUTV Sports. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to CUTV's coverage of the California Invitational Saltine Eating Challenge. My name is Josh Eaches, and with me is our analyst, Gary Smith. Thank Gary, you. thanks for being here. Josh, thanks for having me. This is probably one of the biggest events we've ever covered on CUTV, and it's all about this right here, the saltine. This is not an event for the faint of heart, Josh. Uh, in 1997 in Bangladesh, three men died taking the saltine challenge in the Asian Games. This is very serious stuff, and I think we're going to see a lot of heart and dedication from these competitors today. You know, you speak of that, Gary, and we've got two gamers coming in today's matchup. John Wien, the veritable Doyle Brunson of saltine eating, and Andy Walter, the underdog. No one's ever heard of him, but he comes in with a big heart today. Wien, the big story surrounding this one, as he recently turned down scholarship offers from Nabisco and Kraft, citing that it would take away from his focus. Well, it's all about concentration, dedication, and preparation in this competition. There are three or four different ways you can go. The two main ways that we're going to see our comp competitors do this today, the 2-1-2 two -two method, which was uh, popularized by Babe Ruth in the 1930s after he got out of baseball, basically two saltines, one saltine, two saltines, and the 1-1-1-1-1, one, 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 which was the Babe Zaharis method that she perfected in the 1940s on the LPGA Tour. This is going to be incredible. It's going to be amazing. I can't wait to see how this plays out. It should turn out real interesting. No one's ever done the six in a minute, but we got two guys here that think they can do it. It's like saying 58 in golf. It just doesn't happen, but just maybe, just maybe here today from California, PA. Stay with us, Saltine Challenge, after this. Welcome back to CUTV Sports coverage of the California Invitational Saltine Eating Challenge. Uh, Gary, go down and take a look at our referee, Scott Miller, right there, explaining the rules. What is he telling these two fierce competitors? Well, Josh, uh, the rules are there are five regulation saltines. Uh, has to be regulation saltines, not the stuff you get from Wendy's, which are half the size of a regular one. That's been a point of contention for, in saltine eating challenges for years. Basically, five regulation saltines. The first one to completely eat all five saltines that have no residual saltine in their mouth is the winner. The other caveat in this competition, no liquid of any kind. This is all you, your heart, and your saliva. I don't see the need to delay this any longer. We've already introduced the competitors. Both of them look like they're ready to go. And the only thing now is to start this competition. And we're underway. The key in this competition is don't get off to too big of a start because not a lot of people know this, but the chemical composition of saltines is just one atom off from concrete. So too much water, too much saltine in your mouth at the same time will just make your mouth a concrete mess. You know, this competition can be trying on not only the human nerve, but the human body. The sodium content in these saltine crackers is, is up there with the amount that one human would consume in a week. And these players are doing it in just one minute. Well, we're down to 30 seconds into the competition. You can see uh, Weand has three saltines in his mouth, but it's slowing down. The youngster, Walter, is working on his third saltine right now. That's good strategy by John. He has them both in his mouth. All five uh, are in his mouth, Josh. I'll tell you, Andy looks focused. He's not even paying attention to what's happening to his right, but John is ready to swallow these things and give the big F you to Nabisco and Kraft and say, I don't need your money. I'll do this on my abilities alone. Well, like so many things in life, Josh, the swallow is the most important thing in this competition. And we're checking the mouth. It looks like Weand may be finished. We do have a winner. John Weand has finished. All the crackers have been swallowed. Andy left with two on the table. Puts up a valiant effort, but it just wasn't enough today, Gary. Well, the official time was 102, and that is only four seconds off world record pace. John came into this competition focused. He had a game plan, and, and the good thing was he didn't deviate from that game plan. He saw Andy get off to a, a good start, but he stayed focused. And you can't take anything away from the youngster. This is the first time we've seen him in one of these competitions, and I see bigger and better things for Andy coming down the stretch. No, certainly coming this close in a, in a top-notch matchup will bring Andy that much higher up in the world rankings. Expect to see him in future matchups down the road against more top-ranked opponents. A good performance for Andy, and he's going to finish it off in style like any true competitor would. That's the greatest sign we can see. He's not beaten. He's going to finish it. He's going to tell the world, I am here, I am ready, I am hungry. Congratulations to our winner, John Wien, and all those who participated for CUTV Sports and the California Invitational. My name is Josh Eaches. With me, Gary Smith. Thank you for joining us, and good night, everybody.